Hello and welcome to the National Science Learning Centre in the third of our series of Christmas chemistry demonstrations. So you've seen in the other two we're talking about the journey of Santa Claus coming to town. So we've had the scene setting of the endothermic reaction for winter, we've had the northern lights to guide Santa and light his way to our house, and so we're now thinking about actually how does he get here? How is Santa Claus going to travel that huge distance to each and every single one of us and deliver presents to our house. So we've been having a word with him and he's given us a couple of secrets and one of the biggest secrets is actually how he gets his reindeer to fly. Now we've got this secret and we're going to show it to you but you've got to keep it a secret um, but you can show your pupils and your students as well as long as they keep the secret. Now the demonstration we're going to be doing is called the fireflies and the fireflies is actually the oxidization of ammonia using um, chromium three oxide as a catalyst. Now this powder, when we put it, and heat, well once we heat it up and put it into our flask here with some ammonia gas, will actually start oxidizing ammonia, which is an exothermic reaction, and we'll get to see lovely little glowing sparks. Now the premise behind this demonstration in the link into Santa Claus is coming to town is the fact that the glowing sparks are the magic powder that goes into the hay feed for the reindeer. And if you want to, you can also show, if you can find it, a clip from the movie, um, Santa Claus the movie, where they actually use this exactly same thing. They use this special powder in the hay for the reindeer to eat to allow them to fly. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to create this magic powder. But remember, you can do this demonstration completely separate from a Christmas theme, and it's a really nice um, demonstration showing oxidization and an exothermic reaction. So, for the actual demonstration, we have a very large flat bottom round flask. This is a six litre flask. The bigger the better. You can get away with using smaller flasks, but that size is good. Safety screen, heat proof mats, a Bunsen, a deflagrating spoon, your chromium three oxide, a little measuring cylinder, 10 mil measuring cylinder, and some conch ammonia. So that's the equipment. Now, one thing I'd like to say is with the chromium three oxide, um, if you haven't got any of this, this can be made from the volcano experiment um, using ammonium dichromate. Um, and there's instructions for this in um, various different places, the RSC, so the Royal Society of Chemistry, um, and Klebs also have um, information on the ammonium dichromate, found, um, ammonium dichromate volcano, and that's where you can get some chromium three oxide as a byproduct of that reaction. So the first thing we need to do is create an environment for our fireflies, our magic dust for the reindeer. So what I'm going to do is take this flask, unstopper it, and then we're going to take 10 mil of the conch ammonia. So just put that into our measuring cylinder. Like so. And we're going to pour this into our round bottom flask. And just lightly put our stopper on. Now, we are using conch ammonia, so you can smell the ammonia fumes. You can do this demonstration. It's probably best to do it in a fume cupboard, just because of the ammonium fumes. Um, because we're doing this on a video in quite an open space, we, should be, we, we are going to be fine. Um, but in a, an audience or in a small classroom, you might want to do this in a fume cupboard. So what we're going to do now is just pick up the flask and just give it a swirl. So we're creating a bit of a ammonia gas mixture in there, getting that ammonia to fill the whole flask up. So you want to give it a good swirl around, creating a nice ammonia air mixture in there. It's good exercise. There we go. So that's our ammonia. Nice in there, mixing with the air, so we're getting a nice ammonia gas in there. And then what we're going to do is heat up our chromium three oxide, our catalyst to get that ammonia oxidizing and to create 
our fireflies, our magic dust for the reindeer. So you want it onto a really hot flame. Put the, some chromium three oxide onto a, your deflagrating spoon. And then we're going to heat it for a minute or so. We need to get this really, really hot so it starts to glow. Now, as we're heating this up, we need to turn the lights off because these fireflies really only shine brightly when the lights and the nights are dark, um, thinking about the reindeer and Santa Claus's journey. So we're heating up our chromium oxide and it's starting to nicely glow. You want this to really glow so it gets really red hot and that will be enough to start the oxidation of ammonia off and create our fireflies, our sparks for Santa Claus's reindeer to get them to fly, our magic dust. There we go. So, just going to move this in slightly so we can see it. Take off our bung and then I'm just going to tip the um, chromium 3 oxide, this hot chromium 3 oxide, into our flask. And then we have our fireflies, our magic dust for the reindeer. Now we may even be able to do this twice, depends how much ammonia is there, and you can repeat this a couple of times, depending on how much ammonia is in the flask. So again, just heat this up. You can see those fireflies, this, this such a such a pretty demonstration, it's so beautiful. And a really nice dark lab or lecture theatre, it really does shine quite brightly. So we'll try again, and there we go. Those wonderful fireflies. So we can now say we know Santa's secret. He's given us the secret to create that magic dust to allow his reindeer to fly so he can carry the presents on his sleigh um, back to us on Christmas Day um, every year. So this is a lovely little demonstration that ties into our Christmas thing quite nicely about Santa Claus's journey to town. Um, but it's a lovely demonstration in its own right. Um, next time, we'll be thinking about how do we set the scene and how do we get our house ready for Santa Claus's ultimate visit to drop off his presents on Christmas Day.